As you may know, I'm not just the host of a talk show. I'm also a very well-loved television judge. My bailiff, Guillermo, and I have been hearing cases for quite some time now, real cases with real litigants from small claims court who agreed to withdraw their complaints from our backlogged legal system and instead bring them to me. This is the plaintiff, Cindy Garcia. She claims she purchased two Louis Vuitton handbags from the defendant. She contends she never received the handbags and is seeking reimbursement to the tune of $3,239. This is the defendant, Susana Martinez. She claims the bags were paid for in installments and offered to refund the plaintiff in the same layaway manner. It's the case of Louis Vuitton, but not forgotten. Raise your right hand. What you are about to witness is real. The participants are not actors. They're actual litigants with a case pending in civil court. Both parties have agreed to drop their claims to have their case decided here by Judge James. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So God help you. Rise for you, Judge James. Hi. All right. You may be seated. You can sit down. All right. Let's see what we have here. Plaintiff is Cindy Garcia. Miss Garcia, you are suing Susie Martinez, Miss Martinez, for $3,239, which is the total amount you claim you paid the defendant in installments for two Louis Vuitton handbags with matching wallets that you never received, correct? That is correct. And Ms. Martinez, you claim you offered to refund Ms. Garcia in the same way in which she paid, which was layaway? Payments, layaway payments. In installments? Yes. Mm -hmm. So do you have a store or a boutique? No, I was just selling them um, on Facebook. OK, selling purses on Facebook. And where do you get these purses? Uh, from, straight from the um, Louis Vuitton store. So the service that you provide is the layaway service? Yes. yes. Which the store doesn't. Ms. Garcia, let's start with you. What happened? OK, so what happened was I finished paying for my purses, and the defendant and I had agreed for her to deliver them on a certain date, and she did not. So I asked for a refund, and indeed, she did give me a $300 refund, and she agreed to give me refunds every 15th of the month after. So you have no purses at all? I have no all. purses, no wallets at all. And how have you been carrying your things? I have another purse. You have another purse? Yes. OK. Uh, is this correct? Parch, partially. Did you just say parsh? Partially. I didn't say it all. So parsh would be short for partially. <laughs> Please don't use language like that in my court again, or I'll have you destroyed, correct? You, you are, can I say something? Yes, you may. My people use those words. The, parsh? Yeah. You, you can see, I feel like What I'm, people are you with? Latinos. Latinos, look. Do you use the word parsh? I do not. OK. Don't make me hold you in contempt of court. Well, in oh. the ghetto we do. OK. <laughs> now, you agreed to give the plaintiff all her money back. Uh, the same way she paid me, that's how I told her I would refund her from the very beginning that she initially started buying for me. I see. So you are out around $2,900 right now? 3200 Wow, that's a lot of money. Yeah, it is a lot of money, yeah. For yeah, these bag? are expensive purses. Uh, I will kill my wife if she buy those things. You're threatening to kill your wife in court? No, boy, in case she buy a Louis Vuitton, you know, it's too expensive. One more word out of you, and I have you taken out of here in handcuffs. All right. All right, very good. And what did you do with the uh, plaintiff's money? I initially started, you know, paying, because it was a number of, of people. So I, as soon as they would pay it off, I would give them the item within two weeks. So it was kind of like a pyramid scheme type of yeah. thing. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> Right. Now that your shady purse smuggling business is, is out, uh, what, what do you do for work? I'm, I'm going to school, and I also had a daycare. I you have a daycare, yeah. OK. And if the parents bring their children there, you give them back at the end of the day? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. Cindy, would you like to see Susie go to jail? No. That's nice, right? Yeah. Susie, would you be willing to do chores around Cindy's house to help pay off this money? If that's what she agrees to, yes. Oh. Would you be interested in something like that? Of course like not. That? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to adjourn to my chambers for a minute, and uh, I'll be back with my verdict. No problem. Thanks.
You need to say anything? Mm. Oh, un momento. Él va a la round break ahorita, ¿ok? Will Judge James side with this handbag hoarder? Or will he rule in favor of Lady Layaway? And will this beefy bailiff fall asleep in that chair? <laughs> Judge James' verdict when we return. <laughs> this purseless plaintiff claims she's owed money. This defendant promised payments in parsh. Judge James is about to rule. Let's listen. Excuse me. Sorry, I was looking at the pictures. If they were original or no. Everybody's supposed to stand when I come in. Oh, uh, 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 stand up for Josh James. <laughs> okay, you can all sit. Sit down. Well, I, um, I'll be honest, I, I didn't even have to think about this case. I actually just went outside to take a little walk around. Um, seems pretty clear to me you paid the money, whether it be paid in installments, she didn't get the purses. I award the plaintiff the full amount of $3,239. Oh, that's it, guys. Now we can go. Yeah, yes, everybody sir. can go. All right, Judge James has rendered his verdict. Let's speak to the big winner. Congratulations. Thank you. Who do you think you are, Paris Hilton? No. Go ahead, go something with your phone. You are something close. And now, the defendant who can't be happy with Judge James' verdict, what do you think? Was Judge James just a little too harsh? Just a little. Just a little. Yeah. What kind of handbag, what kind of purse do you have? A coach. A oh, it's a coach? Yeah. That's pretty nice. Can I take a look? Let me see. I haven't seen a coach. It's not like a Louis Vuitton, though, right? No. <laughs> On the next Judge James. I did two suit with Mr. Lee. Do you think there's any possibility he murdered Mr. Lee? First of all, I did not murder Mr. Lee. I'll inform the court that Mr. Morris now removed his pants. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm glad we can wrap that up. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like that, subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest videos. And if you didn't, subscribe anyway. It's free. Who cares?